Dr. Caffrey here. Today I want to discuss with you a nutritional supplement which has been shown to improve disease activity in Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. So the nutritional supplement we're going to discuss is something called Nigella sativa. So Nigella sativa is also known as black cumin seed. So this has been studied and looked at uh, and been shown to have a variety of actions. Some of the actions uh, that have been reported include anti-diabetic, anti-cancer effects, immune modulating, meaning immune balancing effects, analgesic effects, meaning pain reducing effects, antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, spasmolytic, bronchodilating, uh, protective for the liver, the kidneys, and the gut, and antioxidant properties. So the study we're looking at today looked at the effects of this herb, Nigella sativa, on Hashimoto's thyroiditis, which is an autoimmune disorder, which is the most common cause of hypothyroidism, which is a sluggish or underactive thyroid. So they looked at supplementation with this versus a placebo, which was a, a fake supplement, uh, starch they used in this case in 40 individuals, and they looked at uh, a variety of outcome measures. So they had 40 patients, 22 to 50 years of age, they have Hashimoto's, and they were given either um, two grams of nigella sativa or placebo for eight weeks, and then they were looked at prior to and at the end of that eight weeks. So what did they find? So they found that treatment with nigella sativa significantly reduced body weight and body mass index. So they saw body weight go down, they saw BMI go down, they saw uh, waist circumference and hip circumference go down, um, and there was no change with caloric intake, there was no change with uh, intake of protein, fat, or carbohydrates. So it wasn't a diet change, this was simply a supplement that influenced these things. They also looked at concentrations in the blood of TSH and thyroid antibodies, and they found the TSH went down, which reflects better thyroid function. Um, so the average TSH went from 6.42 down to 4.13. They found thyroid peroxidase antibodies decreased as well, and they went down from an average of 2945 to 147.9, so cut those in almost half which is a significant drop. Um, they also saw an increase in the blood levels of T3. T3 is your active thyroid hormone. This is what binds to your thyroid receptor sites and exerts thyroid influence. So this is something that went up from an average of 0.92 to 1.06. And then the last thing they thought saw that was a significant change was a reduction in what's called VEGF, vascular uh, endothelial growth factor, and this is something that uh, lower is better in this case because higher VEGF is associated with inflammation of the thyroid, it's associated with hypothyroidism and thyroid cancer. So what were the side effects from this nigella sativa uh, supplementation? Well, three of the 20 in the group that received it had reversible symptoms of itching and nausea. And then it says here, four of the patients in the control group uh, refused to continue the trial. So basically the only side effects were itching and nausea in three of the 20 patients. So in closing, uh, Nigella sativa, uh, black cumin seed powder is something that might hold some promise in the management of individuals with Hashimoto's hypothyroidism, which is the most common cause of hypothyroidism. So I suggest that you talk to your doctor, uh, take them to study, speak to them about utilizing this in your treatment approach for your Hashimoto's hypothyroidism. If they're unaware of this connection um, or they're unwilling to look into it, I suggest you seek out a functional medicine practitioner um, and this could be a, perhaps a simple low-cost intervention that might serve as a good adjunct to your current treatment plan. 
I'm Dr. Caffrey. Thank you for listening.